Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about the possible expungement of former President Trump's impeachments. Because that's apparently a thing that's being considered. It looks like McCarthy is kind of on board with the idea. Generally, what it means is that the House is going to vote to quote, expunge the former president's impeachments. There are a lot of legal scholars saying that this can't be done. Um, you know, it's not, it, it's not a criminal thing. It doesn't work the same way. This isn't something that's really, really possible. I would like to point out that in 1837, Andrew Jackson had his censure by the Senate uh, reversed. So it's not like there's not precedent for it in some ways, although those scholars will argue that that was just done by the Senate. It wasn't a two-chamber process. So uh, there's a little, bit of, uh, a little bit of a difference there, and that will certainly be argued. But the key thing that I want to point out about the Andrew Jackson situation is that I'm telling you about it. It happened in 1837, and I'm telling you about it. What does that mean? It means that it doesn't actually go away. If the House was to, quote, expunge the former president's impeachments, it would still be part of the historical record. Uh, it's not something that's going to disappear, uh, regardless of, of what they do. This is, once again, a show for their base, to show them that they're doing something, and that something is apparently basically adding a line in a history book later. It will say, you know, the former President Trump was impeached twice, later a different session of the House decided to expunge those impeachments. But it's still there. It doesn't go away. It will just it it will just have an extra asterisk beside it. Um, at this point, the least of Trump's worries are his previous impeachments. It, Yes, he is a twice-impeached president. He's also a twice-indicted president. That's probably more pressing to him. This isn't about Trump. It's about them playing their base and just assuming that their base thinks that this will actually do something. It's the standard thing they're getting from the House GOP right now. Show legislation. Nothing to help them at all. They're, they're not doing anything to help their base. They're not doing anything to govern. They're doing stuff to get social media clicks and keep the base energized and angry. And that's it. Can they do it? Sure. Why not? Does it matter? No, of course not. It, it's not going to alter his perception. All it will do is historically tie their names to him. So maybe later some of these people in the House GOP, they might go on to do something. But they will, at that point, they will forever be tied to Trump, who is the twice impeached, twice indicted, possibly twice expunged, former president. It's a show and nothing more. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.